All right, so my third one is KR, right? So the element name, if I look at my periodic table, right, again, instead of searching for it, I can look at the number right here. It's number 36. So if I look at it in the top left corner right here, it's number 36. And if I call it, it's Krypton. Oops, Krypton, right? My atomic number, if I look at it, is in the top. So that's number 36. My atomic mass is the number that's written underneath the name, which is 84.80, right? And then from here, right, the number of protons that Krypton has is uh, 36 because it's the atomic number is the number of protons, right? And if I know the number of protons, I know the number of electrons, which is 36, right? And then my period number, that's where I look here. If I look at my Krypton number period is my row. So if I look, Krypton is in the fourth row or fourth period, right? And then the group number, remember group is the vertical. So it's the group. So since Krypton is in here, it's in the very last column. So it's in the 18th group, right? Since Krypton, so it would be that. And then since I colored it yellow here, I know that my yellows are non-metals. So I know that Krypton is a non-metal. There you go.